Well, I mean, I always say I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. I'm a fan of this industry. I'm a fan of this sport. I'm a fan of boxing. I love combat sports. And so, you know, I mean, it, it, this this is a dream come true. And, you know, as I've said before, I just want to make the right decisions. And sometimes it takes time, and a lot of people don't have the patience for that. But, um, you know, like you said, as long as everybody's talking about it, I think it's a good thing. Well, uh, let me just say, you know what? Uh, we here at No Shit MMA, the fastest growing uh, web uh, TV show on earth, are uh, huge fans of what you're doing. Thank you very much. But, but, we're, but we're not done yet. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh, keep going. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, we're going to yeah. hold you out till about 11 o'clock. Um, so, oh, a couple more minutes. So, Tom. Here, here's a question that's been battered around, and the reason why I'm fishing is because I'm really I'm sending out a lot of the questions that are floating around on the internet. Okay. 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 Cool. So one is, look, here's some numbers. In Affliction Band, you had about eleven thousand two hundred people at gate of two million, a little over. Um, um, day of wreck uh, uh, of reckoning. Yeah. Rec was it day of? Day of reckoning. Yeah. Reckoning. Um, you had twelve thousand three hundred a uh, gate of one point four million. You had a payroll of 3.3 .3 about an, in each one. Did you guys make money? Tom, can I answer this? Sure. Okay. You know what? If I own a company... Why don't if, you let Tom answer how about it? And let, no, hold on. Yeah. Let Tom answer it, okay. and then you answer it. Okay, Tom. Cause, no, cause no, no I, actually, he, he, he opted to answer it, so I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. quick. No, I'll no, no. Quick. Okay, do I'll a do very quick. fast answer. If I own Red Bull, if I own Red Bull Energy Drink, I... Uh -huh. I own, let's say I own Red Bull Energy Drink. I create sports events to market Red Bull. If I lose 200000 300000 a million dollars doing that, but I get Red Bull in front of millions and millions and millions of people, and they all say Red Bull, whatever, Red Bull, whatever. And Red they're Bull, blogging whatever. about it or whatever. Yeah, and everybody talks about it for months and months, and it costs me 900000 I consider that to be a marketing expense. So if Affliction loses a couple hundred thousand or a million dollars on it, but they market it for months and months with the name out, out there, I think that that's not only not a loss, that's a well-spent marketing dollar. Tom, how am I doing? Hang on a second, Robin, just before you answer, Tom. So are you saying then that because people pay a million dollars for 30-second commercials, say, in like the Super Bowl, and they get 30 seconds during the Super Bowl, it's kind of like buying one or two Super Bowl commercials, but yet you're getting months but worth of advertising? That's exactly what okay, I'm saying. Okay, Tom, what's your answer? I say, is that the person who has the business um, background? No, no, this is the fighter over here. I got punched in the face today, and it just made me smarter. Even better. Even better. I'm even more impressed. So what, what's the answer? What do you think? Am I on the, the right track? Is, yeah, he's, 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 he's got it down. I mean, he yes. obviously knows business. And, yes. you know, uh, when you look at things <clears throat> from a business side, you have to understand that if I if I – put a commercial on CBS, do you have any idea what that would cost me? A lot. Hundreds of thousands? Thank you. Yeah. If I put a commercial on your show times, you know... Hundreds of thousands. 30,000 30, other, you know, web and radio and everything else, do you know what that would cost me? Huh? Well, on our show alone, it would be hundreds of thousands. Yeah, or free right, t-shirts. Exactly, but yeah. that's what I'm saying, times yeah. 30,000. Yeah, right. Totally. So, you know, not to mention newspaper, not to mention magazine. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, a lot of people don't understand that. But, I, you know, but, and, can I, but I do. Hang on a second, but can I just quickly say, advertising dollars spent on our show, well worth the money. Yeah. In case yeah, you're that's, curious. That's what I was thinking the whole time I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. Like, right. seriously, eight, eight shirts a week and 500 bucks a show, we're going to give you so the, uh, so much reach across North America. And why, why did you just say $500 a show? I mean, 1000 What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, 10000 Tom, it's $2,500 a show. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk to him later. He, he'll, <laughs> never, he'll never take your call again. But no, I'll, give I know. You, I'll give you $10 a show. All right, yeah, deal's okay. done. Yeah, I want uh, sure. We're exploring Perfect. options with CBS as well, so we'll let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> um, so uh, anything else we got for Tom? I mean, uh, we've asked him a bunch of questions. And, He's given he us almost no real answers. He has an answer. Although, he did. I gave a great answer. Hold, fuck you. You know, you know what his politicians say? They say, ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Right, which means we will only make statements and then you can agree or, or disagree. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. So, okay, great. And then uh, let me just see if I've got anything else. No, I don't. So, um, look, Tom. <laughs> oh, I got something. What? We had uh, Mark Pavlich from MFC on earlier. Oh, that's right. And uh, he is probably the only guy who runs an MMA organization that takes more heat than you on the Internet. Really? Yeah. Have you yeah. ever come across any of this? Are you ever, like, you know... 
uh, out there reading what all the uh, internet obsessives write and stuff. Mark Pavlich from MFC takes so much heat. I try not to read it. Um, I do have two people that work in my office with me, and they read it. And they, you know, if, if it's something good, they'll definitely tell me. Uh, you know, it, just to bust my balls. I know I've been called a metrosexual Muslim before. Oh, I like that. Get out of town, uh, really? I've been called a cork soaker. Uh, hey, I got, I got it. That. I was just joking around. I didn't realize you've been called that. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, called somebody that. called me a cork. So- oh, somebody called. Somebody said that I was gayer than a room full of dicks. <laughs> the, the, the cork soaker is a Saturday Night Live reference, by the way. Uh, okay. It's a great so, skit. Uh, it's one of the greatest no, skits ever. Yeah, I, it just no, I don't know. I read what you guys sent me um, on him and the the controversy be, uh, behind the the kid that he's not going to resign. Yeah. Um, but that's no, I, I don't really know who he is. Well, he uh, he, he's uh, you know they're on on HDNet and they're doing a great job with a show up here in Canada that's reaching out. And he uh, we asked him if he had a question for you because we do that every week. Uh-huh. And, and a week ago, we asked Kenny Florian if he had a question for Josh, Josh Barnett. Yeah. And Florian uh-huh. just laughed and said, my question is, why does Josh Barnett hate me so much? He have you, have said, you followed any of this? He actually this? said, loathe me. Loathe He's, me. Yeah. But anyway, because, hurry, what, anyways, what's, what's the So uh, we what's asked the, um, uh, the Mark, Mark Pavlich, and he, and he didn't have a question for you. All he said was he wished you the best of luck and, and continue doing what you love. So. Uh, that's cool. That's yeah. really cool. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. People hate him too, but, you know, he's a good guy. Yeah, I think lots of times there's a lot of guys out there that people hate, but when you meet them in person, they're they're actually really really good guys. A lot of people hate me. I'm a good guy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tom, thanks so much for being on the show. Seriously. Um, we'd yeah. uh, we'd love to have you on again. Anytime, guys. I appreciate you having me on. I do apologize for um, big asshole move last week. Last one. Yeah. Uh, asshole move. Seriously. E- email me tomorrow sizes that you guys are looking at and like yes. I, like we agreed I'll send you out a few of uh, each of the company okay when you disc- when you say and, a uh, few we'll go from there. when okay. you say a few what do you mean like 10 20 uh, you know, a few. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, Thanks for the we'll pol- political answer. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll wait a, a good few weeks. We're not going to stress you out or annoy you or email you every day. But uh, as soon as we got news, we're calling you and we're dragging you in for another 15 minutes, okay? No, that's not a problem at all. And actually, you know, I prefer, you know, if, if there's rumors out there... Call me. You know, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, or at least give you as much as I can. And if it's not, I mean, you're going to get the the politician answer. If it's not, you know, I'm just going to tell you I can't give you any information. Okay. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. You know, lie to you, and I'm not going to. You know, I'll confirm it if it's if it's if it's correct. Cool. Okay. And Tom, I guess the last thing is, can you guarantee us an exclusive next time? Something. Uh, I just save can. something for us. Save us something, Tom. What? What's that? Save just us some some save kind us of exclusive. One detail for next time. What do I get? You you get the you'll get uh, some Robin Black shirts. The redhead, the blonde, and the brunette. I'm you sending you some like Robin Black shirts. Okay, it's a uh, done deal. Uh, I'll Tom, the exclusive. Tom, I will wingman the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, I I've been there. This is a terrible. Wingman. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking? About? I'm an awesome wingman. One because one of my have... friends one of my friends said I was the best wingman in North America. Yeah, you know, you know I found that uh, usually wing wing girls, wing women, wing chicks usually work better. I oh agree. no no, I, I I'm gonna bring them with me. Oh, okay, that's why I'm so good. Let's let Tom go before right. he never comes back. Thanks, Tom, Tom, thanks so much, man. All right, guys, Take care. Good luck with everything. Me. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks, Tom. Bye. It's like nine fifteen. Holy fuck! No, it's yeah. not nine fifteen. If you were in, I mean, if, if, you're if you're in another, Winnipeg, if you're in another province, it would be nine fifteen. All right, so we've got like seven, eight segments this week on on YouTube. Holy crap! We just basically babbled uh, way too fucking long, and uh, fun, and somehow you managed to pound two back beers. A, two beers plus two some beers. other drinks at the bar before we got here. I'm uh, I'm a, a solid uh, drink into the show as well as some drinks beforehand. So thanks very much for watching. That was uh, a lot of fun, though. I, I think uh, a lot of fun. We suck, obviously. Tom did give us one or two details. He, did. he confirmed a couple of things. He we'll confirmed. To... He confirmed some fights. Yes, he did. Yes, he yes, did. He... No, not quite confirmed. Shut up. But... Whatever. He came close enough to confirming fights that people will be able to announce that he's leaning towards certain True. things. That is what he said. He confirmed something. And he he said he's leaning towards this. He's leaning yeah. towards. He's yeah. leaning towards CBS. That's that would be his preferred that's choice. Than, that's more than MMA junkies got. Fuck! So. I'll tell you that yeah, for sure. Tell you that. All right. Anyway, Who we're, we're, we're MMA junkies. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, love all we those love sites. Uh, we are completely 100% 15 minutes at a time. So thanks very much for watching. We're full of shit. Thanks for watching. No shit MMA on thatchannel.com. Sponsored by. Uh, Extreme Couture Toronto. And, and affliction. And a, apparently, and affliction. Uh, Robin Black sucks.
big dick and because uh, he's got blue hair and he's got uh, glasses on today which has nothing to do with why he, he sucks but he sucks and uh, no, I'm done know. we're out thanks very much for watching we'll see you next time thanks